All right, we are back again with the ever intrepid Pilecki and Bitey back at the Forsaken Front where we were just delivered along with a lovely corpse that needs to be revived. That is Lord Godfrey. Um, yeah, it should be pretty interesting. And we left off right as we were about to watch Lord Godfrey and possibly looks like a couple more people down here. We've got Lord Walden, Lord Godfrey, and Baron Ashbury. Sounds like Sylvanas is going to get a few new people on her side. So let's What joy out. is there in this curse? Rise, Godfrey. You are unwavering in your loyalty to the Forsaken, Pilecki. Know that what you have done for us, for the Horde, will not go unnoticed. With Lord Godfrey and his men recovered, we will have a great advantage over the Gilneas Liberation Front and the rest of the Alliance dogs. Now, stand by my side as Lord Godfrey is reborn as one of us. Together, we will bring him and his men into the fold. Oh, all right. Rise, Lord Godfrey. I have no time for games. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. Ooh. Well, they looked good for a few minutes. <laughs> they don't look quite as good now. You live to serve me, Godfrey. Together, we will crush the Worgen uprising and take back Gilneas for the Forsaken. Well, the Horde. <laughs> The irony of what I have become is not lost upon me, though, as I have always said, better dead than Worgen. Or, in this case, better undead than Worgen. Prepare your men. The Gilneas Liberation Front amasses at the Grey Main Wall. Soon, their reinforcements from Stormwind will arrive. Armor, weapons, whatever you may need, you will find at the supply depot behind me. Go now. As you wish, Banshee Queen. Once again, you have impressed me, Pilecki. Without your aid, we would not have made it into this far, into the war this far. Walk with me. We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. Today marks a new beginning for the Forsaken and the end of the Alliance in Lordaeron. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Right. Breaking the barrier. Well, Godfrey and I make preparations for our assault upon Gilneas, I want you to lead our attack upon Ambermill, directly east of here. The former Dalron Magi of Ambermill have erected a magical barrier that somehow cloaks them from vision. They currently reside within some type of pocket dimension, awaiting orders from the Alliance to begin their attack. We must prevent their assault by making a preemptive strike, venture to Ambermill, and find information that will grant us access to the mages. Alright, we have to find a codex. And it looks like Dash Dashla, who we have not interacted with, would like something. The Magi of Ambermill have employed foul magic to keep us away. Elemental servitors created with immunities that we cannot breach protect their territory. Venture east to Ambermill and slay the unyielding elemental servitors that guard the town and recover their cores. Bring their cores back to me so that I may devise a method by which we are able to destroy them all. Alright, we need to get some cores. We need to find an Amber Mill Codex. And it looks like that's about all we need to do right now. So, let's do it. Amber Mill's kind of a neat little town. Too bad it's uh, a little bit overrun and a little bit... Well, a little bit 
rundown, but still a neat little town. You know, you just have to watch out for a few elemental servitors. And, you know, if you're a Forsaken or anyone in the Horde, you probably have to watch out for a few other things. But other than that, it's a great place. You could totally retire here. Actually, it's not too bad. There are a few areas here in both Hillsbrad and a few other areas in the Horde-controlled territories that are actually great places for Alliance side players to either RP, because that's kind of what I've gotten into lately, or just hang out and have a place to be quiet and at, at peace. I don't think this is actually one of them, because even Alliance side you would have to do a lot of fighting. Alright, that is six Servitor Cores. Now all we need to do is find that Codex. Uh, and probably fight this Servitor here. Details. No big deal, though. Bitey is the best. And there is our Codex. Yay! Alright. Now to fight our way back out and turn this in. Ooh, we got jumped by a rare. That's always exciting. Let's see if he's got any good gear. He definitely had a lot of good experience on him. I don't know if that is something we can use. It is, and it is an upgrade. Always kill the rares that you see, if you can because a lot of times, especially when you're questing, they have got loot that will be a lot better than what you're already wearing. And if you are not still questing, still kill the rares for transmog. Transmog is probably one of my favorite things that they added to the game, honestly. Oh, there was another quest. Oh well, we'll get to it. We are the Forsaken. Yes, I did. We will slaughter that. anyone who stands in our way. You know, Sylvanas, you say the same thing. What joy is there in this curse? Clever mages. The Codex is sealed by a magical ward. Pity they weren't clever enough to realize that former archmages of Dalron are now Forsaken. Yay, and we leveled up. That's exciting. And Dasha, would you like to, uh... Have these cores? Well done, Plucky. The praise the Banshee Queen lavishes upon you is apparently not unfounded. Oh, and Sylvanas has another quest for us. Yes, milady. I have no time for games. Take the Codex and travel north to the Sepulchre. Once there, find Dalar the Dawnweaver. Dalar is a former Archmage of the Kirin Tor. Surely he will be able to bring down the protective wards surrounding this codex and pry its secrets loose. Hurry, Pilecki. Alright. And let's see what this quest that I missed. Oh. I think it's... I think there's just what do you two need? of the May same your blades dude. never dull. <laughs> that is hilarious. Go forth to he victory. is twins. I think there is a, a little glitch in the Matrix. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna fly to the Sepulchre. You know, speaking of glitches in the Matrix, that just reminds me, and I check on it at least once a year, my very first main, um, my, my Draenei Hunter, Lantra, she, you know, started her life on Azure Mist Isle around the Exodor, did all of those quests and back then which was like 10 years ago there was a glitched out timber strider that is along the path from the exodor going up to the docks and that glitched out tall strider is still there to this day it's kind of hilarious like i said i check on it once a year just to see if the bug has been fixed, and no, no, it still hasn't. It, I don't know, it, it amuses me 
At this point, I think I should give him a name. Hello, Delar Dawn Weaver. Does that better be good? Yes. What is it? Remember. The Dark Patience. Lady requires my expertise? Discipline. Well, of course. Give it here, girl. Okay. Trust me. You're no a little over eager there, dude. The Dark Lady is correct in her assertion that I am able to unlock the Codex. Unfortunately, I need a signet ring from a Dal Dalron Archmage to do it. My own ring was taken when I died many years ago, but there still may be a way. Well, Dalron has floated away, the outskirts of the city remain. Far to the east lie the ruins of Dalron. It is there that you will find the Archmage known as Relios. Take his signet ring and bring it back to me. You may use the portal behind me to get to the crater. Oh, thank you. I go. love portals. And you have another quest. Dark lady, watch Under me. ordinary circumstances, I am not a vengeful man. In fact, I am somewhat a, pragmat a pragmatist. You see, practicality is a paradoxical notion to vengeance. Most revenge ploys are highly impractical. But... In this case, since you're already going to the ruins of Dalaran, you might as well kill every Dalaran-affiliated human that you see. The reasons that I want them dead range from hatred to anger to betrayal, but I assure you they are all legitimate gripes. Do this, and I will pay you handsomely. <laughs> Beware the living. You're a little petty there, my friend. All right, portaling to Dalaran. And here we are at the Dalaran Crater. It's a little, a little spooky. Actually, it's kind of cool. If you go to Dalaran and Northrend, you can see where the sewer is actually lined up. It's too bad that you can't go into those sewers. That would be really cool. But then again, you can go to... Oh, we got a quest. Lay energies. The arcane remnant pulses with strange energy. Perhaps you should search for more remnants. Surely Delar would be interested in this find. Alright. Well, kill some arcane remnants, kill a bunch of humans, and <clears throat> borrow a signet ring. Off we go. Hark, I see a glowing dot that indicates our mage target. We just have to fight our way through a few doll rod workers to get to him, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Considering he's just pacing back and forth. Hello, Relios the Relic Keeper. You will have to pry the relics of the Dalron Archmages from my dead hands. I think that's probably what Sylvanas had intended anyway. Alright. We need to take out... A couple more Dalron workers and a few arcane remnants, and we will be all set. These guys aren't as much fun because they summon elementals, but then again, their elementals kind of sort of despawn. Oh, and remember what I said about rares? I see another one. Indigos. Well, let's go. Let's go play dragon hunting. I really should get her a profession. Probably engineering. It would be a really good... Oh, those are a definite improvement. And this is why you hunt rares. You know, we're actually very, very close here at the Dalron Crater to one of my very favorite houses in this entire game. It's actually a really popular one, at least on my main server. And that's because it's so out of the way and such a nice house. But it's right over on the edge of the lake. It's technically in Hillsbrad. But, um, it's, it's very, very close. I'm halfway tempted to take us there just because I can.
In fact, I think I'm going to. So, we will make our way after we kill a few more of these things. Yeah, it's not too far. Uh, these poor Dalaran summoners. Honestly, I do have a lot of sympathy for them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to fight my way to one of the coolest houses in this, uh, in this area, definitely. And like I said, it's actually a fairly popular and well-known house on the server I usually play on. But despite that, it is well worth a trip, so why not? Little tiny detour. Had to get out of the way of all of those uh, Dalron workers and mages, and as you can see, it is up there in the distance. Technically, this is, I think, in Hillsbrad Foothills. Eh, maybe not, though. It might be the outskirts. No, we are in Hillsbrad. Looking at the map, and it's actually two little houses, but one of them is more of a... Th this one's more like a little summer cottage, but it's really cute because you've got the dock right here that usually has a fishing spot. And it's just a really pretty little house. Perfect if you are into RP, or if you just need a place for your guild to be headquartered at. That is outside of the main cities, this is a good one. And, like I said, the better house is just up ahead. Better because it's got a nice little orchard, it's not all falling apart like most of the places, and it is Dandred's Fold. It's in Hillsbrad Foothills, right on the banks of the Lordemir Lake. All you have to worry about is a few low-level spiders, but you've got yourself an apple orchard, nice water, a beautiful arbor, watermelons growing every which way, and quite the lovely house over here. Honestly, this is a nice house. Got a cute little fireplace, chairs that you can actually sit in. I have never actually noticed how a goblin sits. That's kind of cute. And if you go upstairs, you've got a nice little, little sitting room and a cute little bedroom with three beds and another fireplace. I don't know. Like I said, I sort of, when I transferred over to the server that I'm on now, I actually became sort of the unofficial realtor, almost, for my guild. And that was one of my passions, just finding really cool out-of-the-way areas, because I main on an RP realm now, so finding good spots to not have 10,000 people, because RP in the cities can be a lot of fun, but it can also get really, really confusing with five different conversations going on at once. And it gets a little bit boring being in the same city all the time. So, you try to find better places. And I've found a lot of them, but that house back there at Dandred's Fold is definitely one of the good ones. Alright, back to the questing. Directly ahead of us, the portal back to the Sepulcher. Yay! Hello, Dalar, we got everything. What and then it? some. We got lay energy. There you go. Trust no one. Smart girl. I can most definitely use these arcane remnants in my studies. Indeed, Dalron was built upon a massive ley line. It's no wonder then that such things exist at the crater. Victory cool. for Sylvanas. And I killed a bunch of stuff for you. I thought for sure that with the death of a dozen of my most hated enemies, I would feel a great burden lifted from my shoulders. 
Sadly, I don't feel a thing. Perhaps I'm a psychopath. <laughs> Beware the living. And yes, I did get the signet right. Goodbye. Perfect. I hope this wasn't too much trouble to come by, Pilecki. Relius was a pupil of mine back when I was a mortal man, thereby making him a component or a competent and formidable adversary. I suppose I could have warned you of that ahead of time. Now let's see the ring. Dalar trails the ring across the codex. There we are. Dark lady, watch over you. Dalar flips through the codex. Ha! Oh, that's bad. Dalar closes the codex and looks at you. With this ring, only one may enter the pocket dimension at Ambermill. That person will then need to fight through an army of magi and kill the archmage that is generating the phase from the inside. Only then will the dimension fold, ejecting the magi. The portal to entry is hidden at the back of a cave in Baron's Peril. That's all I know. Take the ring back to Sylvanas. Our time will Okay, come. well, I can guess who's going to have to do all of this. And it's not going to be the Lady Sylvanas, that's for sure. So, we are going to fly back and turn this in. Alright, we are back. Short flight. And there are still two High Warlord Chromish. That's, that's just weird. But okay, whatever. Lady Sylvanas, we are back. What are we if not slaves to this what torment? What learned? What joy is there in this curse? Only one may enter? I know just the person for this mission. Sylvanas nods at you. I will prepare our forces and have them at the ready. What are we if not slaves Sylvanas to this hands torment? The ring. Take the ring and make your way to Baron's Peril, southeast of here, located in a cave in the hills. Once there, search the cave for the portal to the pocket dimension that conceals the Amber Mill Magi. I will communicate to, with you through your thoughts, Pilecki. Once you have reached the portal, I will give you your marching orders. Okay. I guess. I would check and see if High Warlord Cromrush or his twin here has anything for us, but I know he doesn't, other than trying to send us off to Hillsbrad. So, let's go find a cave. And all we have to do to get there is to not worry too much about these inconspicuous bears. I mean... They don't look so bear-like once you kill them, though. Alright. Oh, look at this. We have a path. Leading to a cave. Full of portal guardians. Good job, Bitey. You know, I think I say this every time, but... Hunter really is always my preferred class, I guess. Yeah, class. It's my preferred aesthetic. I, I really like having an animal companion and being mobile. I like mages, but the problem with mage is you're stuck in one place no matter what. Whereas... If you're a hunter, you can move and shoot, and it's kind of wonderful. Plus, after uh, a decade of mostly playing hunters, it's kind of muscle memory for me now. Now, I can't play a hunter in PvP. I do not do good in PvP. That is, that, that would be the way that if I just wanted to die a lot, that that would be what happened. But, I do okay if I have a little bit of time to think. But, I don't think I would be good 
playing any way other than the way I played. You know, it was funny. I got a comment the other day saying that I was one of those players that don't play the game the way it's supposed to be played, which I actually take as a compliment. I, I don't take any insult in that. I, I make my own fun. And here we are at the dimensional portal. It hums. The Banshee Queen's voice invades your thoughts. Yes, this is it. Now run the ring along the runes of the portal and you should become attuned for the trans-dimensional travel. The Banshee Queen's words float in your head. You are now ready to use the portal. Be warned, Pilecki. Once you step through, you will appear in another dimension at Ambermill. There will be a hundred, perhaps a thousand magi waiting to kill you. You must persevere and kill all in your path, or at least 20 of them. All right, let's do this. Yep, there's a lot of people here. We will begin killing Amber Mill Watchers. I like everything being purple. It's very, very pretty. I could be slightly biased because purple is a very pretty color. Which I keep thinking about dyeing my hair purple again, but I probably won't. Although, you, you never know. It could happen again. I've had my hair several colors in my lifetime. It hasn't been purple in a few years, though. Anyway, on to killing mages. You know, I think one of the coolest things about this pocket dimension is the houses that are in the regular version of Amber Mill are all ruined. But in this pocket dimension, these are nice houses. Too bad we can't stay here. I think I'd kind of enjoy it. I mean, maybe not as a horde player. But as an alliance player, if you could get into this pocket dimension, it would be a nice little hideout. These are the thoughts of someone who is obsessed with houses. But honestly, I mean, it's kind of a nice little neighborhood. Too bad we have to kill everyone. Let's check out this house. Hey, this one even has an outhouse. That's always a handy thing to have. Ooh, nice little bearskin rug. Looks like a hunting lodge. I don't know why World of Warcraft always leaves the butchered meat out to rot, but you know, details. I'm going to be almost sad when we actually win our way through all of these cute little houses. Oh my goodness, I want to go check out this one. I mean, despite the fact that I know that we can't stay here, it's still fun to look at it. I want to check out this house, not fight all these people. Good job, Fighty. Can we go inside this house? I want to go inside this house. I mean, we have to do a little fighting once we're in it, but that just looks like another little one with not much in it, but still very cute. Let's look. Okay, now I want some way to get into this phased version of Amber Mill on my Alliance characters. That would be incredibly fun. One more house, although this one looks a little bit on the ruined side, but maybe it's not. Got a nice little butter churn going here. Nope, this one's ruined. Too bad. Good job, Bitey. Also, I think this is our final mage. Yep. What's up, Sylvanas? Excellent work, Pilecki. Now to eject them into our waiting hands. Sylvanas speaks to you. You must find the being responsible for keeping the dimensional pocket active. Likely that fool, Anteric. Search the compound for him. 
Should you find him, do what you must to stop him from channeling his magic. He is undoubtedly protected by a powerful arcane shield, and will send minions of arcane energy after you. Defeat the minions where, while they're near him to unleash their energies. No mage can handle all that power. Alright, we've got to somehow overload a mage. But first we have to get to him. And there he is. Alright, well let's engage. And then we have to destroy arcane fiends near him. Well, you know, there we go. Right. Still aren't overloading him yet, but that's all. I would love to be able to shoot you, but I can't. So we will just play with these nice arcane fiends. You will not succeed, monster. Oh, I beg to differ. Bitey, you're not doing any good. Bitey's like, I want to kill him, mommy. I do too. But we have to do this the way we're supposed to do this. Ugh. Is he ever going to overload? Ah. He might be getting close. Chew on his ankles, Bitey. Bitey is a good character. I almost called Bitey a dog. That would be hilarious, but no. The armies of the Alliance will march upon your bones, will they? Can I shoot you yet? No. Beans are getting annoying. Uh oh. I think he's attackable now. Yes. We win. The dimensional barrier is broken. Take them now for the Banshee Queen. Oh, and, well, Sylvanas' army just got a little bit bigger. Okay, a lot bigger. Cool. Oh, uh, that's, that's a bunch of undead dead mages. Kind of spiffy. All right, let's go report this back to the Lady Sylvanas. And I think that will probably be all of the Forsaken Front. Although I can't remember for sure, but I'm betting it is. We will uh, ignore the High Warlord and his twin. I have no time for games. Transdimensional Warfare, Chapter 3. Had I not witnessed what you did with my own eyes, I would not have believed it, Plecky. Now, with the Amber Mill Magi on our side, there is but one thing left to do before we retake Gilneas and send the Alliance dogs running for Stormwind. What is that? We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter the anyone who stands in our way. The hour of victory approaches, Pilecki. Godfrey has devised a plan to decimate our enemies. I am sending you into the field with him and his men to bring the rebel insurgents to their knees and seal the fate of the Alliance filth encroaching on our lands. Our final march begins when you are ready. All right, well, oh, and there we go. But that will be for our next episode, which will be next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday. So, thank you from me and Pilecki and Bitey. And it looks like uh, Lord Godfrey, Lord Belmont, and uh, Baron Ashbury 
I'm sure they'll all still be here when we come back next Tuesday. But until then, not waved. Have a great week, everybody.